galaxy far, far away on a planet known as Chicago comes an alien known as Pat. Hi, Mom. Today is the day I celebrate you. You, the world's only you, the bestest, most joyous you that even you have ever seen. Today I celebrate virtue and wisdom. There's a beginning, yet no ending, and lots of stops at the latrine. Today's a special day. It's an award-giving day. It's a day where I say, I am grateful for your love. Every day, in every which way. On this day, I grant upon you the greatest award of all. It's the MVP award for being outstanding mom, grandmom, and great-grandmom that stands 80 feet tall. You are the best friend I could ever have. This is true. That's just one reason why I'm celebrating you. Your strength is intense and your love is long. You make sure that all of us know right where we belong. There is family, there are friends, there is also some of your artwork hanging around. There are many footsteps that follow yours when you look back along the ground. You light the way for all of us today to see clearly into days to come. Your grace, your gusto is what we, oh, all become. Seven children, 15 grand, and 10 great. Wait, there are more than just reflections of whom we all relate. We are a living legacy that must be based on the wisdom you have shared. Wisdom that has brought great knowledge, if following it, we have dared. Some might say you're a wizard because of your juggling skill. For those who know you best, it comes from your strength of will. Gratefulness comes born from humbleness, a willingness to sacrifice so that we know what it's like to be blessed. You are committed every day and in every possible way to see each and every one of us find success. Hooray! This gift, the greatest gift, is something that could not be repaid. Each moment spent with you is a moment that I would never trade. Life has been rich, it has been full, it has had many happy moments and a few that have been sad. Instead of getting angry bad or letting the world knock you down, you have always held the tune to life's continuing cheerful song. This song continues singing with every action, every word, with every breath. When the toughest of tough task comes along, you stop the song. You just take a deep breath and encourage more to sing along. You always have a plan of action to take, a red velvet cake to bake, a yard to rake, a book to keep you awake. There is so much to create. You don't hesitate. You make your own magic and have taught me to do the same. That's why I'm so proud to bear your name, Patricia, the noble one. Hurry, there is much to be done. For this day, this memorable day, this great day of all great days, there was no way that we move sideways. It's pressing onward, forward, ever toward the presentation of this great award. So mom, grandmom, great grandmom, let your soul stand up proud. Let your gifts linger lovingly like a single solitary cloud. Your day is this day and we celebrate everything that is you. A perfect moment when everything comes together, tried and true blue. I should not omit or forget about this attitude you tattooed. Just do it, not to be feisty. That command was not from Nike, but my mother, whom in my heart 
There is no other. Just do it. Happy birthday, mom, and many more. I love you. This could be the worst. Wait a minute. No, it's, 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 going. it's going. It's going. This could be the worst <laughs> birthday song that you could see yet. But let's go. Ready? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Let's all do it. Happy birthday, dear Aunt Pat. Happy birthday to you. Hope you make it to 90 like I am. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye. Hi, Pat. This is uh, your son-in-law, Bob. I just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. You know, it's 
been almost 42 years since we've known each other, and I can still think back to our first uh, first time and how impressed I was with your youth, your energy, and your personality. And so now um, I was going to make a toast, but it's not here. But here's to another 42 years because I, I don't think you've changed at all since that day one. Take care and have a happy one. Love, Bob. Hi, Sissy. As I'm the sibling with few words, I just want to say happy 80th birthday, and I hope next year is full of happiness, good health, and lots of good things. Love you much, Sissy. Happy birthday, Miss Pat Waldorf. Um, I just hope you know what an inspiration you've been to me all these years. Um, you've introduced me to my heart sisters, and the love that we share is so special. Um, I have nothing but wonderful memories of our time together in Howard and our special weekends, Las Vegas, at Bonnie's house. Um, I just hope you know that I love you and you've just changed my life, dear. And this is our little baby Oreo. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Good morning, Grandma from Venice Beach, California. I wanted to wish you a happy birthday and tell you I love you lots. I wanted to wish you a happy birthday here from one of my favorite places in the whole world. I come here almost every morning and I think about how lucky I am to be in this world and have such a wonderful grandma who loves me. You're such an inspiration to me. You've given me support and I thank you for that. Some words that come to mind that make me think of my grandma. Art, creativity, free spirit, energetic, love. You're just such a beautiful lady. You've got uh, style and grace and elegance. Grandma, I appreciate your many years of encouraging words and wholehearted love. You've always supported and inspired me. You've taught me to follow my heart and choose happiness. Thank you for all your positive energy and many holiday care packages full of candy and treats. birthday, loves and kisses from California. Hi Grandma, happy birthday. So in honor of your big 8-0, I thought I would uh, read you a story. Now I know you've, you've heard this story before, but it's just as meaningful to me today as, as it was when I originally wrote it. So, here goes. This is a story about my grandma. Her name is Pat. She was born in 1935, April 29th. She has seven children. My mother is the oldest. She has two sets of twins. She is an artist. She is also an art teacher. She is very good at art. She has lived in Albuquerque 
for eight years. She's going to move to Colorado very soon, which was very sad. <clears throat> she has a dog named Muffin. Muffin is very smart. He is very cute. Muffin has light brown hair. I miss Muffin. So the things I like doing with my grandma are sleeping at her house. I like to paint with her. I like to go shopping with her. I like to go to dinner with her. She buys me very nice gifts. <clears throat> she she likes the color blue. Her eyes are blue. Her house is blue. Her car is blue. <laughs> I love my grandma very much. And she loves me very much. No. I still love you <laughs> very much, Grandma. And I hope you enjoy your birthday. All right. I love you. Hello from Newport Beach. That guy, it's Brant. How are you? Um, when your daughter sent me an email that it was going to be your 80th birthday and asked that um, we put together a little video, I was delighted to do that. Although she did say to dress up funny or say something funny, and I look funny enough as it is, so I decided to uh, shoot this little video uh, this afternoon while uh, I was out on a sailboat in Newport Beach. You can see how beautiful it is here today. Um, can't believe time has gone by as long or as fast as it has. I was thinking about um, living in Plainview when I was thinking about what we could do for this, and all I remember was the Spud Nuts place, which was wonderful, the roller skating rink, and the size of the pots that you used to use to cook, and how much food your family went through when we went over there for dinner. It was amazing, um, but I do remember it was a free for all. It was a great. Uh, time in our life. We had a great time getting to, under, getting to know all the cousins and being with you guys. Listen, have a happy uh, birthday, and we wish you very many more happy and healthy ones. Okay. Hi, Mom. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Can't believe someone so beautiful as you is turning 80. But in your honor, it's going to take a blowtorch and a fire extinguisher for your cake. So we're going to try and see how this is going to work. Oops. Wow, that might be too hot. There's 80 birthday cake. There's 80 candles. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy birthday to you. And we love you. And as you can see, we're doing this outside. We're being safe. So, but time to blow out your candle. Make a wish. One, two, three. <laughs> Happy birthday. Have Wait. a good one. We miss you. We love you. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Pat. Happy birthday. As I think of you, I can't imagine life without you. We have experienced the highest highs together and the lowest lows. It's been a wonderful journey. Life wouldn't be the same without you. You're like the sister bonded to me. I love you so much, dear one.
You're so loved by so many, so grateful to call you my friend. Well, Pat, I'm going to wish you a happy birthday, but I just have a few things I want to uh, talk to you about. Do you remember when I came to see you? Uh, what time zone were we in? Central Mountain or West, or West Pacific? Or were we in regular time or daylight savings time? I hope you've learned now because if I ever come back, I would like to be picked up on time. Oh, by the way, I just had a couple of things I read here that I thought might be of significance as you're reaching your 80th birthday. These are signs that you're a little mature, that your teeth might spend the night in the jar, that you might have an executive lift chair. Oh, you probably know your pharmacist on first name basis since you go there often. Uh, you get wind at just playing Bible trivia. You walk with your head up high so you can see out of your bifocals. Now, if anything's ha most of these things show you're mature, and surely by 80 you've reached that. I sure hope you had a nice birthday. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday, Pat. We are so glad we have the opportunity to be a part of your special day, and we are really looking forward to seeing you and Guy this summer. We love you. Happy birthday, Pat. Okay, are we ready? Uh-huh. Uh, happy birthday, Miss Pat. Remember the jello salad? You were always afraid somebody wasn't going to have enough to eat. You have a wonderful day, and I love you so much, the sister of my heart. Let's see how it goes. Happy birthday, Grandma. I love you. Happy birthday, Grandma. We love you. We miss you. You truly are an amazing woman. We're very, very lucky to have you in our lives. Happy mm. birthday. Hi, Pat. I stopped by today to wish you happy 80th birthday. We've had we've been friends for 40 years, so I think it's time I give you a little advice or tell you what the perks of being 80 are. So I'm going to read you from the list. I think you'll appreciate these. The first thing I want to say is you no longer have to worry about kidnappers. They're not interested. And I'm pretty sure in a hostage situation, they'd release you first. No one expects you to ever run anywhere. People call at 9 p.m. and say, oh, did I wake you? There is nothing left to learn the hard way. Things you buy now won't wear out. You, you can, can eat supper at 4 p.m. You can live without sex, but you can't live without your glasses. You can get into heated arguments about pension plans. You no longer have to think of speed limits as a challenge. You can even quit holding in your stomach no matter who walks into the room. You can sing along with elevator music. And I don't think your eyes will get much worse. Your investments in your health care is finally starting to pay off. Your joints are a more accurate meteorologist than the local weather service. You can stop holding your stomach in now, no matter who walks into the room. You can sing along with elevator music. It's safe to tell your friends your secrets because, well, they're not going to remember them anyway. And your joints have now become a more accurate meteorologist than the local weather service while well, your supply of brain cells is finally down to a manageable number. And last but not least, never ever under any circumstances take a laxative and a sleeping pill on the same night. And that, my dear, is the perks of being 80. Happy 80th birthday, Patricia. Come true. Oh. Happy, Happy 80th, 80th Grandma, Grandma Pat. Hope all your wishes come true. true. Hey, Grandma. Hey, Great Grandma. Hey, Great Grandma. <laughs> That's Kayla laughing, holding the phone. We all wanted to tell you Happy Birthday, and we hope it's a good one. And that we love you. Um, can't wait for you to meet Gavin. 
I know he can't wait to meet you either. I know he'll be ecstatic about it. Just like me and Jesse were when we went in when we came to see you when you came down here to see us. It was a wonderful day. We had a very great time that time. But anyways, happy birthday, and I wish you many more. Hey, Grandma. How you doing? I hope you're doing good. I hope you have a good 80th birthday. Love you. I want to talk about them. I uh, love you, and, and, and on TV, though. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I love you. Happy birthday. Joshua, great grandma. Happy birthday. <laughs> Y'all can talk. Happy birthday, grandma. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. They love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me, 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 me. Happy 80th birthday. Hey, Mom. That was Barry. You know him. He's always shy. <laughs> this is our boogie bear. And this is our Jesse Jr. And I love you, and I hope you have a wonderful trip on the train. I hope I can be as healthy and as active as you are when I turn 80. So happy 80th, and have a wonderful trip. Love you. Auntie Pat, hugs and kisses. My sweetest memory is when we used to take the train down to meet you in Arlington Heights, and you pick us up in your car. So I wish you a wonderful day. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Auntie Pat. Happy birthday, Auntie Pat. We're wishing you a happy birthday. Happy 80th birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pat. Happy birthday to you. Uh, have a wonderful day. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear older sister. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Okay. Happy birthday, Pat, from Shadrock and Coco, and me, and what's her name? Erin. And Nacho is not here because the dog ate her. And Bud is hiding someplace. But happy birthday anyway. And have a nice day today. And that's a wrap.